Peter Pan, is one of the characters that has the greatest influence on children all around the world. In fact, every one of us has imagined, at least once, while looking out of the window, to see Peter Pan, Wendy, John and Michael flying over the moon. The writer, James Matthew Barry, created a timeless myth in which he reflects on the relationship between society and the individual, trying also to describe in detail the emotions that the characters feel towards others. In this video, we will not focus on the figure of Peter Pan, who represents the inability to grow up, trying to escape from the responsibilities of adult life, but on that of Wendy. In the new film adaptation of the English novel, Peter Pan and Wendy, which will be released in 2022, the producers plan to create a strong and independent Wendy, capable of solving difficult situations. Through an in-depth analysis of her past incarnations, we will try to understand how this is possible and how the symbolic meaning of Wendy's personality is significant for any human being. Since the dawn of time, stories have been told around the campfire. This is because a sitting together, warmed by a lively flame, is an extremely intimate moment in which the imagination can fly free and allows the group to share an engaging experience. Being able to tell a story is a very rare skill and is Wendy's main quality. Like the Eddie in ancient Greece, Wendy speaks from the soul and tells her siblings the story of Peter Pan. But nothing lasts forever and the childhood world, full of fantasy, of toys and costumes, must give way to the times of maturation and sacrifice. Wendy herself does not immediately realize that something in her is changing, that she is growing up. The change is not internal, but is due to an external change in her body. I'm Wendy. A woman. Almost a woman. The moment in which humans understand that they are becoming adults is always very delicate and difficult, since one's identity is still being formed and constructed. Our society, with its frenetic rhythms, no longer allows time to manage this complicated emotional transition. Wendy must abandon her childhood and her relationship with her brothers as quickly as possible to enter the adult world. But before that, she needs to live one last fantastic adventure in a faraway land, in the company of a flying character who asks only one thing of her to become a mother to him and to the lost boys. The mother, in fact, represents the first fundamental figure, the one who gives us life, nourishment, protection, warmth and love. Peter and the lost boys have never had anyone to tell them stories, nor a relationship with a parent. For them, adults are mean and selfish and act with the sole purpose of imposing rules and restrictions, so much that Peter goes as far as to tell Wendy to forget her parents. Forget them, Wendy. Forget them all. Ancient people believed that memory resided in the heart, and remembering something means that we return to a world of the past, where events and emotions were important for our growth. To forget means to erase and bring out of the heart all that was good. Wendy and her brothers are enchanted by the sweet words of Peter, who offers them the possibility of living forever in a world dominated by the fantastic creatures of childhood. Fairies, Indians, pirates, as well as living an absolute freedom without rules. However, Wendy lacks something. To be complete, one must find someone to love, 
despite being in Neverland, when this maturation cannot be stopped. Her heart beats fast, her thoughts turn to her beloved, and they grow closer and closer. Tinkerbell's jealousy tries to ruin the love plan, but it is Peter who undoes the magic, seeing Wendy only as a mother and him as a fond son. The memory of her parents makes Wendy homesick, so she decides, along with her brothers, that it's time to go back home and to become a woman and enter adult society. Now, the enemy is no longer Captain Hook and his crew of pirates, but Peter himself, who does not accept Wendy's decision to abandon him, committing extreme actions such as closing the window of Wendy's room to prevent her from returning home. Barry makes Peter a heartless character. His personality undergoes no change. He remains selfish, conceited, a cruel fighter not unwilling to kill. With Wendy as the mother, he had taken on the role of the father of the gang, creating the family he would have never had otherwise. Wendy finally realizes that she has undertaken the journey to Neverland only for Peter. She loves him and tries to convince him to become a man, but he refuses decisively, imprisoned in his eternal youth and in the firm will to never become adult. At that point, Wendy can only accept his decision and comprehend which is the right path for her. That of Peter Pan and Wendy is a tragic story, made sweet by all the film adaptations for a commercial matter and to be more attractive to an audience of children. The new film will be no different. But then, can Wendy's character really be made strong and independent? The answer is yes. In all the films, Wendy is very passive. This is because in the society in which the films are set, women could only aspire to be mothers, giving up dreams and personal aspirations. Surely, to make all modern viewers better empathize with her, Wendy will be rendered a strong and combative heroine who will not compromise with anyone. And you? Have you ever watched any of the many transpositions of Peter Pan? Are you waiting for this next movie? Do you think it will be a good film? Let us know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Ciao a tutti.